I'm Isaac Page, president and co-founder of Ground Truth Exploration. We're going to be talking about the Yukon today. We're going to be talking about mining more specifically. How would you describe the mining industry in the Yukon? The Yukon mining industry is entering a phase of maturing. Uh, we see recent producers coming online, such as Eagle Gold. As well, over the past decade, we've seen significant discoveries generated through grassroots exploration, uh, notably White Gold's Golden Saddle Deposit and Newmont Coffee, um, both of which Ground Truth has been fortunate to participate on the discovery teams for. With sustained exploration, I would predict we see additional mineral deposits of economic significance continue to be discovered within Yukon. We definitely demonstrated that multi-million ounce gold deposit exist within the territory, and uh, there, there's definitely much more potential to be explored. What would you say are the Yukon's top competitive advantages in mining? I believe Yukon's top competitive advantage in mining is our demonstrated ability to bring deposits into production. We believe there's a visible path for developers and, and investors to bring a deposit from discovery stage to a producing mine in the territory. Uh, and obviously, the, uh, the availability of resources in and of itself must be a big advantage. Most definitely. Um, yeah, the, the expo exploration potential we, we know is great within Yukon. Um, it's really got a, a limited history of modern day exploration. So for, for the return on investment for the exploration dollars that have been put into the territory in the past decade, we're, we're, we're seeing you know significant new discoveries that have been generated out of that. Is there one single factor that really differentiates the territory from other mining jurisdictions internationally, say, you know, in other parts of Canada, in Australia or elsewhere? The Yukon is a unique jurisdiction. Uh, we've got a rich mining history that dates back to the Klondike Gold Rush. Um, I, we, we know there's a largely collaborative relationship between First Nation self-governments and industry where mutual benefit is recognized in this really what is the key industry of the territory. And at the same time, I'm, I suppose you would agree that the, 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 the potential, the upside is tremendous, right? Yukon, we, we, we have a few industries that, that exist that, that'll sustain our economy. Uh, tourism is a primary one, but uh, really for, for the economic potential, what, what the exploration and mining industry could generate for, for the territory, it's... Uh, it's obviously the, the biggest opportunity economically for us. How would you describe the innovation ecosystem in the Yukon's mining industry? Yukon's innovation ecosystem is definitely alive and well. Uh, we at Ground Truth, we put a heavy focus on R&D to bring new exploration methods to the industry. Our company objective with our comprehensive drones to drill exploration tool set is to provide services that will improve exploration success and reduce costs using new strategies and technology. So uh, R&D and, and innovation is, is really what's going to generate the, the next uh, next discoveries in our territory. And what innovations would you point to um, that will increase the sector's attractiveness in, uh, in the coming years, in your view? Innovations that reduce environmental impact, uh, ones that improve cost efficiency and ones that will provide real time data for for live decision making. Th those are the ones that are going to add the most value and increased investment attractiveness in, in our sector. Ground Truth has brought numerous significant innovations to the exploration sector. Um, this will be the examples would be we were one of the first Canadian companies to provide UAV drone photogrammetric and topographic surveys to the industry. Uh, we, we started this back in 2013 when autonomous drones first became available. Uh, this, this key innovation allowed us to collect low cost, high resolution base data on exploration projects, which we use for planning and monitoring. It's really becoming the norm on a lot of exploration projects now. Um, some of our recent drone R&D involves running target scale LIDAR surveys uh, using payload carrying drones. So that, that's really what we foresee in the future here is Remote areas such as the Yukon um, with heavy mobilization costs to bring manned aircraft up for specialized survey. When we can collect the same data using light gear in, in remote areas, it, it's really going to be a game changer for us. Um, additional innovations, we, we developed uh, what, what we call the GT probe, which is a bedrock interface sampling rig. It's a light agile top hammer rig that's mounted on low ground pressure tracks and it's operated with a wireless remote. 
the GT probe is really, it's, it's replaced the need for invasive, invasive ex, excavator trenching. And it uses a low impact sampling method to collect the same data. So when we come in with a new method that, that allows us not to have to fly an excavator out to a remote exploration site, and we come in and just pound a, a three inch hole with no reclamation need that that's really a significant, uh, you know, advancement in methodology. Uh, at the same time, we've tripled productivity by using this tool. Uh, to replace trenching and we're able to operate at a third of the cost with the traditional method. Further to that, Ground Truth, uh, we've also developed an efficient air rotary RAB drill. Uh, it's mounted on a similar set of these low ground pressure uh, rubber tracks. It's designed for uh, grassroots exploration drilling to test bedrock ahead of intensive and costly diamond drill programs. So we use these efficient tools that, that we can get out with, you know, low mobilization costs because it's all like gear. Um, that That's an advancement in itself here where, where we have a lower environmental footprint and a lower cost to mobilize. We can test more targets when we use a more efficient method. We pair the drill with uh, what's called X-ray fluorescence or XRF, which is a geochemical analysis. So it allows us to get multi-element geochemistry at the same time as drilling. And behind each drill hole, we, we offer optical televiewer downhole surveys. And with that downhole survey, we'll, we'll generate a three-dimensional oriented core image and map structure from that. So really the, the combination of efficient drilling method paired with live geochemistry and structure mapping, it's a game changer uh, to improve exploration success. And it's, it's really been amazingly well received by industry. So we, we started that offering that service just a few years ago and then we're running these these rigs and, and the strategy across Canada and Alaska right now. So what is being done by the government, by investors or other groups to develop, continue to develop innovation and how does that impact again the attractiveness uh, to foreign investors? Yeah, it's it's a good question. And, you know, Ground Truth, we're, we're not a mining company. We're, we're a service provider that uh, that's that supports the mining and exploration industry. Um, really, from from our end, I guess I would say one of the like, like we will utilize SRED tax credits to help offset, you know, some of our, our R&D work. And do you know about other incentives or programs that are available for for mining exploration companies in the region? For junior mining companies and prospectors exploring in the Yukon, the territorial government provides the YMEP or YMEP exploration grant fund. It's been extremely successful in generating grassroots discoveries and triggering, you know, significant follow up investment on these projects. So uh, it's definitely a mainstay of uh, the Yukon exploration uh, you know, cycle. What is the business environment and the sort of uh, business, I guess, community like in, in the Yukon and around the mining sector? Yeah, the Yukon, it's, it's a great jurisdiction to work in and call home. Uh, I can definitely attest to that. Um, the Yukon mining and exploration, is, it's, it's really a tight knit community. Uh, Ground Truth works intensively with our clients and service providers that we rely on. And that'll be such as helicopter and assay companies. We also maintain ongoing dialogues with First Nation governments to keep them appraised on new approaches that, that are going to reduce environmental impact of exploration in their traditional territories. So, uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of cross-functional discussions between different government and, and industry here. Is there any kind of misconception about the Yukon that um, foreigners, professionals, uh, potential investors considering the Yukon uh, have that, that you would maybe like to take this opportunity to address? Yeah, w within industry, I think uh, one, one misconception of the North is really that there's an unreasonably short exploration window because we, we don't have long summer seasons. Uh, often seen as a barrier that, okay, well, we can only explore for three months of the year and, and it, it's higher effort and higher costs for those short windows of time. Um, that, that could be a hundred percent seen as a barrier. A lot of the work that, that we've done within developing our own tool set is really extending the calendar year that that's workable, uh, with, within the territory. So, uh, 
using air rotary drilling technology uh, versus diamond drilling, we, we don't require a water supply. So that means uh, we, we can easily work out those shoulder seasons of the year and, and have a fuller exploration calendar season comparable to you know what, what other Southern Canadian jurisdictions have.